Robert Pattinson is lonely. So in the new issue of Spanish GQ, Robert Pattinson opens up about adulthood and stardom and how important being humble is. So the interviewer first asks him, what is it like being an adult? He's 27 years old, but he says, I don't know, I think it's only the age. It's strange, you start changing, childhood finishes, and suddenly you feel that even your physique is different. You feel heavier. Then they ask him, what are your thoughts on stardom? Quote, it's strange, you don't have a normal life anymore. You spend time trying to fight it, but in the end, you find another way to live. People don't realize how lonely you are. In any case, I feel fortunate because success didn't reach me very young, and at least I had the opportunity to have a life before. Very interesting, very telling. And then he says how important it is for somebody that are really successful in the entertainment industry, or I guess in life in general, they need to be humble. He says self-deprecation is key. He says, quote, when you become famous, it's easy for some people to hate you just because you're famous. He goes on to say, that's why sometimes you beat yourself up. And then he jokes at the end of the interview that from this point forward, he's going to have a big ego. Thoughts, five words or less. It gets lonely at twilight. <laughs> Where is Case Stu? <laughs> you showed vulnerability. Thank you. Thank oh, you, that's on. good. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're not the lone wolf. Oh. Taylor Lautner is. Oh. Yeah. You're the vampire. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go ahead and break down his interview. So first of all, the adult question I thought was weird. I think that's something that you would ask somebody that's like 19 years old, 20, 21. Not someone that's 27. It's that's fantastic. But you know, they, people always play younger. You know, I right. all those teen movies, it's like, uh -huh. you're... 32. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good point. Okay, so because maybe he's affiliated as this younger character in all the Twilights, people yeah. consider him not an adult. But anyways, what did you guys think about his thoughts? It turns out that he kind of has a good head on his shoulders, or at least he's good at delivering those lines. Yeah. Yeah. I think lonely is sort of a common theme you hear. I mean, at the Taylor Swift concert the other night, she was talking about being lonely too, and that that's the one thing they don't tell you when they're preparing you to be this famous star. And I feel like you hear that from every celebrity out there is how lonely it is and how they're dealing with the loneliness. Yeah, and that's true because if I go on work trips by myself and I get bored or lonely in my hotel room and I just want to like go out about in the city, I can't. If I want to go to a, if I was single and I want to go to a bar and maybe meet somebody, I can. They can't do yeah. that. They can't. They can try, but then people are going to come up to them and they're going to hound them. They can't just enjoy their night. Yeah. And they have to question what people's motives are when they finally do talk to them. Yeah. So I do understand that it must be really lonely at the top. But I think it reinforces that you need a core group of friends yes. that'll stay with you. You know, like uh, whenever I watch, there's, I mean, there's kinds of celebrities who seem to roll in a group. Yeah, and I think Madison that's good. Crew. Yeah, and so I think that's important. Right. I think if Judd they Apatow keep those people crew. around. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting how he alluded to the fact that he's glad he was never a child star. Yeah. Because he got to have a life before. I thought that was interesting. Mm. Do you think he was like making a slight dig at like, not a dig, but just like the Harry Potter kids? Because you know he was in Harry maybe Potter. Maybe it's not even a dig. Maybe not it's one dig, of the. Maybe he sees that they're they might have have been robbed of some certain exactly. experiences. That's what I. Yeah. Or like you can't make that group of real friends that aren't famous beforehand, yeah. so they don't have those people to ground them. Yeah. They have each other, don't you see? And also, I, my my hope is that they all hang out together because they're actual real friends in life. The wizards. Yeah, like I want the Weasleys all to hang that, out with yes. Hermione. It's probably competitive though, right? I mean, I was watching Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez at the VMAs last night. And yeah, they're best friends, but like what happens when they're up against each other for the same award? I'm like, sure, there's competitive. They're not going to yeah, admit it, but I mean, they it can't feel. Be. It must be need? nice to have a friend that's just not involved. Uh, what do you guys think about how, how he said it's so important when you're a big star to be humble? And even if you, I guess you have to fake it because it's true when you're that big of a success, people are looking to be like, you're a dick or you're this. And if you come off as self-deprecating, at least people don't go, well, at least he's not full of himself. Yeah. I thought that was a really important, valid point. It's stuff also like how, yeah, how small an action can define an entire person's idea of you. Mm -hmm. So you just always, and, and, and that's, that's positive or negative. Like people latch on to that stuff. They want right. to be able to say, well, there was this one time when he offered an intern a sweatshirt, mm -hmm. or there was this one time when he, where he, he hit an intern in the face, yeah. which you shouldn't do. And Jennifer Lawrence, mm -hmm. I think, is a good example of that. Because yeah. she's, it comes off very genuine. Her self-deprecation comes off very genuine. I think that's why so many people gravitate towards her. I think uh, that yeah. has to do with the not being a child star as well was you she know a child no star? no she, she, she was, she was acting famous but recently. she became famous right. yeah okay Later interesting on. all right what do you guys think about robert pattinson's new interview in the spanish gq let us know your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe we'll see you all next time on pop trigger